Hold oh, slowly working down the lake, yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Welcome back to the channel, Fishing Freaks. Oh, you know, it's another good outdoor day, and uh, it is time to take our newfound friend out on its maiden voyage, for me anyway. Yesterday I picked up the boat and today it's much nicer. It was still cold, really cold this morning. I spent my morning just doing some yard cleanup, you know. It's, it's time to start doing some, uh, some tree trimming and stuff like that, but this afternoon it's getting nice and calm and I just thought we need to take the boat out. At this point right now, I haven't even posted the last video while I'm filming this, so I don't know its new name yet. That's still to be determined by you. But I did go and get me a little boat cover. I picked this up for like 60 bucks at Academy, and also what they have at Academy right now, they have the new Mondo kits in. And the Mondo kits are a basically a um, assemblage of some really good Guggen Squad uh, baits in there you get some of the new juicy jigs you get some of the crank baits you get the singer spinner bait things like that all bundled together it's kind of like a mystery tackle box because you don't know the colors and everything that are inside but you do get some really awesome lures it is a fantastic christmas gift so i thought i'd start you off with that since literally they were sitting there when i was getting this cover and i also got a five pin or a four pin to a seven pin uh, connector I think this is what I need because my lights aren't working um, with the regular four pin I, I, I connected that to my truck and for some reason it wasn't working so I haven't tried this yet so we need to make sure that's working before we get out there but otherwise um, everything else on the boat is up and running I just need to fill it up with gas so the objective today is to just kind of put around on the lake I want to go try to catch some shad so I want to just take the cast net out and literally just make sure everything works and see if there's any leaks in those areas that I pointed out in the last video and try to catch some bait because I want to set some trot lines here very soon and we got a couple of good weather days and then it's becoming just uh, no taco bueno for the old fishing conditions. So I want to try to fish as much as I can the next few days and uh, even do some crappie fishing and some other things like that. So you guys stay tuned. I got one other really cool thing that we just brought home that Stephanie found. An awesome little bargain buy. And uh, it's in my office, so let's go see that. Stephanie found this awesome storage uh, shelf unit thing at a uh, like a, a secondhand store, like a consignment store. I've been looking for something forever to go in this spot and it matches my tiger wood table that I've built here. It's hard to find something that fits in this little area. So my charging station for all my batteries for going out and filming and all that stuff and different accessories I've kept in this little thing and as my channel and my video um, skills have grown I've acquired more and more stuff and this little table is just, it's no longer doing it. I think I got this off Amazon. It's served its purpose for a long time, but I just filled it completely up. And so I needed something bigger. Plus, every time Emmy comes down here, she gets into everything. So I wanted something with some doors that uh, she couldn't just come, come and grab uh, my microphones and batteries and really important things off of. So I thought this was an awesome find. Steph got this for, uh, I think it was 300 bucks. Normally a, a dresser thing like this, like the ones we were looking at were like seven or eight hundred bucks. Another thing that makes it really cool is it's built out of recycled wood from boats and barns. Thumbs up 100%. Good find OSG. Only thing I need to do now is just take a bit and just drill a hole in the back side of it. And I'm going to run my charging station and all these wires aren't going to be hanging out like a daggum Megatron device over here. Just looks like Medusa's iPhone just plugged in. If it wasn't for Stephanie, I don't know what I'd do. I would never go out and get any of this stuff. She just finds it. Really good tip for any of you looking for a solid wife. Find you a bargain shopper. It goes a long ways. A little bit of blowout, but we're okay. It's on the back side, so it doesn't matter. Oh, it's always something. Inch and a quarter was big enough for one cord, but not the other, so I'm just gonna have to get out the old jigsaw. Here we go. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you organization. Look at the charging station inside of there. Wabam, getting it done. So all that stuff's hidden now, and he's not going to get her little fingers into it. And that's just going to help me stay organized because I got a lot of dangles to do, and I got to film them all. Next task: let's make sure the lights are working with my truck and trailer combo. Okay, big flapper open. Let's put this in here and see what this does. Problemo. We have the running lights, they appear to be on here. However, we got no blinky in the back. And uh, this was actually loose. I put that back in, and it looks pretty crusty. But, um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna have to do some rewiring. This, uh, I tried a couple different pins and this just uh, this isn't working out. It's not going to stop me from getting out on the water, making this maiden voyage. Okay, there's really no gas in here, so I got to fill it up. And what I'm going to be using is uh, some two-stroke oil. I have to blend my oil with my gasoline, and it's a 100 to 1 mixture. It says it right on the motor, so probably do three ounces in each tank and then fill it up and that should be good. Let's see. No, I actually need like six ounces in each tank. And then I'm gonna fill it up, 10 gallons total. Okay, I made a mistake. Uh, that is the max gallon right there. So there are 3.2 gallon tanks. So that cost me seven bucks to fill up one tank. That's definitely my cheapest gas tank fill up ever. Uh, I hope that's not gonna mess it up that I put probably double the oil it's supposed to get in there. Um, a little extra lube, never hurts, you know. Gotta make sure we go through all our checks here. So front is unhooked, back straps undone, plug is in, that's probably the most importante. And, um, We'll see if we can get this motor, start, motor started. That is really one of the most important things we have to accomplish today. Make sure that motor is gonna start, run, and go. I mean, it started once when, uh, when I was picking it up, but it took a lot of cranks. And he says it should crank on the first try in the water. So we'll see. Okay. Very nice comfy seat here, all right. Let's go into it. Choke on. There she goes. Oh, a lot of oil. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah. Think she's purring good. You just gotta love the smell of two-stroke oil burning in the afternoon. Oh, I'm not kidding y'all. That brings back childhood memories you don't even know. My dad used to take me fishing in his, I wanna say it was a 14-foot or 15-foot Terry bass boat. I can't even remember the horsepower it had, but it, smelled like this just a little too strong okay now she's idling good she sounds good peeing real nice that's the impeller working don't think there's enough power to get it off the trailer with the motor luckily it just lifts right off oh no come on sweet baby Please do not do that while I'm out there. What's the matter with you? Come on, little baby. She start up on me. 
Hold oh, slowly working down the lake, yeah. We'll dock up here, park the truck, and then we're gonna get out to the maiden voyage. Ah, uh, yes. One thing I love about being in this boat is uh, no one knows it's me. <laughs> I'm out here. Like, normally people recognize my boat, and then they see me in it. I've got like a camera on or something, and they're like, oh, it's LFG. Yeah, they'll uh, never see me coming now. I can fish all my honey holes. I really don't want to go too far for a minute. I'm trying to get the hang of this engine. And it seems that it wants to idle kind of high. In a low idle, it will shut off. But make no mistake, we are going to rip it as hard as we can. Because that's just what you do when you get a boat or any vehicle. I don't have a single fishing rod or a depth finder, but I do have a cast net and I'm gonna try to catch some shad as soon as I just get the break in on this thing going. One of the areas I really wanted to check and see is, well, let's just put it in neutral for a sec. This area right here, this area right here that had the crack in it, as you can see, that is above the water line, so I think we're gonna be good for the most part. Okay, let's strap on the old LJ and give her a rip, shall we? Born to rip it. Ready, little Yami? See what you got. Reminds me back in Canada. Just island hopping, going after smallies. Tasty walleyes. Idling around this creek channel right here and I'm starting to see some shad. Oh yeah. The old cast net. Let's see if I can cast this thing. Oh my God, that was an embarrassing throw there. Looked like a total googan out here. Okay, let's go ahead and get ourselves a little trolling motor test as well while we're looking for some shad. Okay, so cables here. Honestly, the trolling motor bracket for a boat that's been, I don't know, as old as it is should be so terrible. I can't believe this is the original one. Like that is so solid. And then uh, should just be able to plug this thing in here. I need to. Definitely clean up these, these connections here. Okay, there we go. We've got some power. It's not exactly the uh, most reliable connection. Oh yeah. This is really why I got you, boat. Oh, so I can just leave you right there and go and hunt and explore other lands to my heart's desire. That's what it's all about. I would definitely never leave my Skeeter just sitting there for hours on end. Ladies and gentlemen, is a thread fin shad. Tasty treat for all creatures in the lake. They're also pretty oily. So that's gonna be my bait for my trot lines. Hope to walk away with more than two, but that might be all I get. Two things we can know for sure today. The boat doesn't leak, which is awesome. I don't see any water back here. I see a couple drops, but that's literally just from my cast net water. Number two, I suck at throwing a cast net. The maiden voyage, as they call it, is complete for me today. The only thing left to do is go home and enjoy some of 
Stephanie's delicious. She's got something new she's cooking up tonight. She said it's kind of like a uh, fried chicken sandwich with a Chick-fil-A sauce. What? Can't miss that. I kind of want to see what that's all about. I'll take you guys along for the ride there. See you in the kitchen with OSG. Yeah. Hey, cutie pie. Uh oh. What is it? You look so tired. <laughs> dinner. Mm -hmm. I want some dinner too. I've been waiting for you to get off the water so that we can have some dinner. Well, I took a little bit longer. I did not get stuck. The boat ran really good and I was trying to get some bait. And uh, by the way, guys, on my last attempt when I was at the dock, I threw a couple of beautiful casts with the net and uh, I ended up getting a bunch of shad. So I've got plenty now, I've got over a dozen. And I'm gonna go dangle those for some catfish. Mm. So we're gonna get them jug nines coming. So we're gonna get, pretty soon we'll have some catfish to do this with. So um, you were telling me you were doing something like, like a fried chicken with a sauce yeah, of some that's sort? Yeah, so unlike me. We're doing, I'm kinda doing like a Chick-fil-A type thing. So I'm kind of craving some fried chicken. I mean, we get, you got something over here to, yeah, to make yourself feel that. good. And we got some fries in the oven, and I made some lemon bars. Oh, heck yeah! Oh, what's it gonna be good now? But yeah, we're doing uh, fried chicken sandwiches. I made mm. a copycat uh, recipe Chick-fil-A sauce. Oh my, can that be done? <laughs> yeah. Can you copy that? Well, I don't know, you'll have to tell me because I've- I'm a connoisseur. I've never had Chick-fil-A sauce. I think some catfish doing just like that. I'm down. If you can catch some, I will cook them. Give me a bandana. Golly, make me some baskets down here. Give me some gravy. Woo! It's one of the, the cutest things on earth right here. Just bad hold me. Bad hold me. I know. Look at it. It's a cam cam. Yeah. Oh. Some crispy chunkies. How, do, how does Chick-fil-A do it? Do they put it on the bottom or do they like drizzle it over the top? They don't put it on there. You have to request it. And you dip it in a little jar. It's a little square unit. Yeah, it is customary that Chick-fil-A does put a pickle on there. You were doing a twist and putting a what kind of pickle? It's, I don't know. It's Sandwich makers? Dill slice. Dill? Put that, put that deal on there and let's make a deal. You know, Chick-fil-A, they, they put a, a wide unit on there. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Don't be shy on that sauce now. You Woo! got plenty to dip yourself. Uh, okay, <laughs> yeah, that's my dipping sauce, I'm good to go. <laughs> Honey, you know I'm real particular. I do. And I do enjoy my Chick-fil-A, so if you've I'm got something I'm already here, gonna tell you that the buns aren't, they're, the buns aren't 100% what I would say is okay. great. Okay. Look at I could make better. Is Look at what that I'm though. Saying. All right, you're saying room for improvement. Let's put a good dab of that wow. sauce on there. Mm. Yeah, right there. I hope I cooked that chicken thoroughly. <laughs> what do you got on that? Mmm. 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 There's some different flavors going on. Oh. Similar. But then there's some extras on there. Oh, let me get another bite. There's something in there with some honey mustard. It's working nicely. Gourmet pickle, stepping it up a level. Bun is good. Yummy's excited too. Oh yeah. Mama did good. Oh yeah, chicken is tender. Chicken is cooked really good. It's nice and tender. That is delish. That'll do, honey. I need to eat a couple of those, I think. Working up, worked up a big hunger throwing that cast out today. And for dessert, y'all, look what we got in here. <gasps> oh my lemon bars. My gosh, what an amazing lady I have. Y'all, if nothing else, hit the like button for OSG, AKA Ocean Spoon Girl, AKA my wife. She does serious damage in the kitchen. She's a bargain shopper, she's a great mother, and uh, I love her, she's awesome. The boat, y'all, it worked really, really well. The motor worked really good, that's always a big concern when getting a new boat, so I'm super happy with that. 
The holes on the sides, I still want to get fixed, but I had a really calm day. No water came in. So I feel really good about my purchase. I just need to fix a couple of small things like the trailer lights, uh, get a couple of accessories, maybe some little dangler holders off to the side, uh, maybe even put a graph on there. I don't know. But if I'm going to be doing some like actual fishing, I'm just going to take the big boat. So the first fishing trip out of there is going to be for catfish. We're going to be setting some jug lines and I'm going to be doing videos on that. Um, and I've got some other hunting videos lined up, but I want to hear from you guys where you want to see the boat go. You got some adventure ideas, maybe like Back Creek Ventures or something like that. Uh, what are you guys into? Let me know in the comments. And again, guys, don't forget new fall merch dropping November 12th uh, for the whole Guga Squad. A lot of new designs, um, details down below, link in the description. Keep it locked right here, y'all. Hit the subscribe button and also subscribe to the Lake Life Family Channel where we do just, you know, chilling at the house and other things around here at the tree house with me and OSG. Thank you for being here. God bless you. And I'll see you very soon on the next one.